so it's the last day of my three week long vacation. Three weeks with almost non-stop rain every single day. And today is no exception. Although the weather has been changing a lot throughout the day. So I'm just going to take a chance and see what happens. I now have the steady, what's it called? Steady shot. Steady shot thing enabled. And I'm very curious if this works or if it's just going to drain the batteries even more. I have a, I even have a pouch attached to my backpack filled with batteries. But anyway, it's actually, Actually, the light is it's not bad at all. It's fairly pleasant. Although I, I would wish that it had a bit more direction to it. Oh, wow. Uh, I just saw a spot over here which I tried to photograph last year. It really didn't work out because it needs a more defined focal point, but it's a, it's a beautiful place. I can show you here. Something that is really tricky about this place is to find individual subjects and really isolating them and emphasizing what you like about them. Because it is a really, it's a, it's, a, it's a fairly messy area with a lot of trees. There are though a huge amount of birch trees on the other side of the river here, but it is also very prone to uh, rock slides. So what I have noticed about this place is that except for the occasional intimate scene which you can find it's not impossible but it's very hard uh this place really lends itself really nice to more of the stereotypical landscape shots with the, the, the more grand vistas with these huge mountain tops and rivers and valleys and it's very it's a very beautiful place but it it really it really boils down to how many photos you can actually take of the same scene without having them looking exactly the same. But I really hope that the weather doesn't turn bad because there are some really nasty clouds up on the sky there. Well, it started to rain, so I've taken some cover underneath these really dense spruce trees. And uh, it's not a bad place to take shelter. Now when it started raining, it has this really damp, mossy forest floor smell. So I'm not complaining. So after hiking for a while, I decided to ditch the trail and just go where my instinct told me to. And after fighting off two dozen horseflies, I came to a river. And with no other alternative, I realized that in order to cross it, I had to get my feet wet. Not really knowing where I was, and with only the mountains to navigate with. I carried on until I reached this pretty wash 
filled with beautiful marbles. But at this point, I was really worn out and I suddenly remembered that I was also having to hike the same distance back and I was starting to question whether I would find anything to photograph or not. So I decided to return. On my way back, I came across a tiny wooden sailboat thingy that I chose to bring with me. I thought that some kid must have lost it and I thought of leaving it in the parking lot and hopefully somebody would find it. But while I was feeling nostalgic about the little boat, I suddenly noticed this grove of pine trees that had these dead skeleton looking shrubs beneath them and I just had to see if I could find some composition to work with and not destroy my camera in the process. I had a few breaks in the clouds that gave me a little bit of good light but it was short-lived. I managed to grab a few shots of the scene before the rain clouds decided to give me another round. As I was walking the last stretch, I noticed the name on the sail of the boat. Oli. I really hope he finds it. Well, the hike was, the hike was really nice. And I, at least I came away with uh, one photo and I'm feeling quite positive about that picture. I think it will be a, a very nice one, I hope. <sighs> but now I'm really worn out and really tired. I'm very excited if somebody actually finds that little wooden sailboat and perhaps somebody is missing it. I don't know. So, uh, but uh, I just want to go home now and rest because my back is really aching. So, uh, thank you so much for joining me on this little hike. And uh, I hope it won't be too long before I see you again. So, uh, bye for now. The photo was okay. I really liked the subject and the composition. But to me, it really needs better light to make it come alive. But the cool thing is, I can always come back and try again, and hopefully the scene hasn't changed.